John Marshall here with Intel and uh, we're at the Sprint Developers Conference and what we're doing is, is we're showcasing uh, embedded systems that are incorporating Intel's uh, latest uh, 5150 uh, and 5350 WiMAX chipset. So this allows for WiMAX in a laptop to actually communicate uh, while it's having the MX, uh, WiMAX and Wi-Fi embedded into the separate uh, into the system, we don't have to worry about having a separate uh, dongle, for example. So you can order a system with embedded WiMAX, and this allows for, in this case, North America or in Japan, 2.5 uh, gigahertz uh, support for WiMAX, as well as multi-band or tri-band for Wi-Fi. In this case, 2.4 5 gigahertz spectrums. Uh, Intel is uh, going to be supporting a broader band uh, of multi-band cards that will be able to do uh, 2.3 through 2.4 and 2.5 through uh, 2.7 gigahertz and also we'll be doing 3.3 through 3.7 gigahertz support for uh, other geographies as well as our Wi-Fi bands. So and what we have here today we're showcasing a uh, live cast uh, server demo with actual connectivity going uh, in Portland on our light rail system that is uh, live and sending a live video stream with geotagging information. Uh, we're showing uh, the handoffs as well between towers associated per uh, system or light rail train in itself. And we are actually connected uh, over Clear's uh, innovation network that's down here that was set, uh, released and operational earlier in uh, September. So fantastic uh, support and infrastructure and it's here today and uh, we're definitely enjoying the performance and capabilities of this 4G technology. So you have three output antennas here, yes? Yeah, we have three antennas uh, on this, so it allows uh, for 450 megabit support on Wi-Fi 802.11n, and we also have the ability to have uh, up to two antennas for receiving signals on WiMAX, as well as we use one antenna for transmit. And that's pretty consistent across all of the WiMAX embedded uh, chipsets that Intel uh, ships today. So you can connect this to the one, to the WiMAX? Yes. And the router, and then you can connect it to a router and get Wi-Fi. That's an option if somebody wants to set up a connection sharing uh, on their system uh, via the OS. You have the ability to do a 4G connection to a wired shared port that would be the connection sharing port that you could distribute connectivity to other devices at that point. That's my iPhone battery charger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.